Good morning. It's about eight o'clock. I was up about seven. It's about six centigrade outside. Boy, do I feel it. It's nice and warm underneath the blanket, but I can't get out of bed. <laughs> it's too cold. And because I've got no heating, it's, uh, oh, I don't know I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to quickly go over to my little portable gas cooker, put the kettle on, and hopefully it'll heat the van up a little bit and I can get quickly get changed. But it wasn't too bad staying in the, uh, the residential road. I think everyone's gone to work. They need to. <laughs> the M25 in the morning. Nah, man. I ain't getting on that. I'm going to take my time. Morning. It's six centigrade. I put my fleece on to warm it up so I could get out of bed, run over to my gas cooker, put the kettle on so they can warm up the van and I can get a nice warm of coffee. But I've got to count to ten <laughs> to get the urge to go and do it. <laughs> Now, I love my son and I love him dearly and I love it when he's with me but my van is so much tidier when he's not around you see that there's no clothes thrown away shoes all over the place everything's just looking tidy and I'm gonna leave that bed in situ it's just easy brushing my teeth now I've got 10 litres of water in my van and I keep filling this one up and leaving it in the sink as my water. And rather than let the wastewater go onto the road, I empty it all in a cup. And when I find the nearest place to uh, empty it, I do. I don't want loose rubbish lying around, you know what I mean? Then use wet wipes to wash down my face. This is all because I'm on a residential road. I don't want to leave um, a trace. Not my man. But I do this anyway. Rather than waste water, I just get a wet wipe to do the face. It's much easier. So, and I'm using my camera as a mirror. Hello. There we go. All done. So I'm now charging my little portable uh, power bank. This is the one that I put in my bag because my phone needs charging at least three times a day if I'm out and about. And she's doing all right. Got that much charge still left in her. I'm alive and well. Had a very peaceful night on the residential road. And literally, a couple of seconds walk from my van, I've got this view. So I've just come out here to have a look around and I'm gonna hit the road. Well, first of all, I'm gonna go and get a breakfast from somewhere and uh, then head. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I just thought I'll let you know. I'm in Romney Marshes and these are the roads that I'm sort of driving down. <laughs> Shit, full of mud. Uh, taking it very slowly. But this is the whole joy of being in a camper van and just taking the off-beaten roads. nature reserve. One thing I've noticed, it's really quiet here. Quite remote. I know the car park's full, but uh, you can just walk for miles around here. I'm just going to go into the centre to have a look at what they've got in there. This is a good place. I'm glad somebody suggested that I come over here. I was just looking and they've got like a circular walk, which I might do, which takes two hours, which is good. But I'm just going to go in there. Right. I'm going to put these on onto that area. I forgot what they're called now. Um, just to insulate my legs a bit. And uh, off we go. Sat with the coffee. It cost me £1.10 in that RSP. They haven't got any food or anything there. But it's really quite nice. But it's £5 to do the circular walk. And I'm not sure if I want to pay them. But I might do, it goes to a good cause. And it is pretty lush in there. Obviously the money gets well used. And the people in there are just so friendly. <laughs> so I probably will. And uh, two hours walking. Yay! This is me all dressed up. 
son's hat and those. I'm going to go and do this walk. So this is the start of the walk. You've got picnic benches on the side over here and it just goes round for two miles. I don't mind paying the fiver to do this two mile walk because look at the paths. They are lovely and the actual centre itself was just so beautiful and the staff in there were so lovely. But I thought, yeah, I had my money over. We've got a lot of these hides around here and there's people in there with their binoculars and their little notebooks. I wish I knew about birds. But I just love my walking. I'm not gonna soldier on. I found a public footpath. So it takes my walk longer. I'm so enjoying you listening to my music. I just need to carry on and on and on. <gasps> Look at it. Just bleak and quiet. And I've just been walking and walking and so enjoying it. This is my bit of remoteness. I've just sat down taking a break from my walk. But listen. It's very quiet. Oh, it's so good. Um, <clears throat> I'm in Dungeress, probably pronouncing it wrong. It's very bleak. And I understand that the rest of Kent is lovely and sunny, but it's not over here. <laughs> but it just gives it a different kind of atmosphere. Uh, as you can see, I'm just walking and walking and walking and the paths are so nicely laid out. I can just sit down and look at that. Camper vanners and walkers are such lovely people. I was sat here doing my Facebook, you know, doing like, probably like that. And these walkers come up and go, are you alright? <laughs> I seem to get that a lot. I think mean, I don't because I'm like that. <laughs> oh, I just thought I needed to share that with you. If you ever see me and I got my head hunched down, I am okay. I'm just trying to look at my screen on my mobile phone. I don't believe it. I've lost my way. <laughs> really, my memory is so bad. I, I swear I wasn't walking on this path on grass. So I'm retracing my steps. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. I can't believe I'm truly lost. I had to ask someone where's the path and he was confused by what I was trying to say. <laughs> oh, this could turn out to be a long walk back to the van. Thank goodness. Seen some civilization. <laughs> I can't believe I have completely lost track of my way. I was so good with sense of direction. But I got a feeling, uh, with my old age, I'm not. Phew. Find a nice path that leads all the way to the car park where my van is. What a welcoming sight, my van. But there's a few others that are parked up here. I'm going to go visit the public toilet before I get in the flare and think about what I'm going to do next. Back into my retreat. Flare! And um, I think I'm going to go to... Rye now. The time is 3.30. Uh, so have a little walk around there and maybe get a, a light something to eat because I haven't really eaten all day. So off we go. I'm now in Rye on the cobble streets. It's actually quite pretty. I'm told there's a castle so I'm going to walk towards the castle and I might need to get something to eat but there's some lovely shops around here. Little nice, lovely cobbled streets like that. No, wow. actually, quite steeped in history. So, loads of these lovely buildings. Now. Oh, my god, what a lovely street! Ah, this is amazing. Right, I've got to do this. And then the shops on the other side. This has got to be one of the best roads that I've walked up. I mean, just look at this street. Every house is so individual. I think this has got to be one of my favorite streets I've been to. I'm gonna to have to stay in this hotel one day on Mermaid Street. 
1420. So it's going to have a lot of history going on in there. Through Ryan, there's lots of fish and chip shops. It's an old building. But I need to get back to the van because I want to get to the pub, park overnight and have a nice meal. So I'm trying to avoid eating until I get there. It's going to be another half hour or so. Yeah. I have such a problem with finding places. Anyway, I'm tired and I just want to get to the pub. The pilot's in, back in where I was this morning. I've rang them up and they get quite busy. And they said, you're all right for tonight. So I just want to eat something glorious and get in my van and just chill. This is what the road looks like on the Romany Marsh as I drive to the Pilot Inn. I love it. Boggy. Oh, it's so eerie. I think that just adds the added glamour of staying at a pub overnight in the wild. So I arrived at the Pilot Inn in Romany Marsh, but look at it. It's parked up there. Settling over there, it just goes on for miles and miles. What a great location to have a pub, and you can park a camper van in the car park. There's quite a few of them here. I want to go in and uh, have a meal. This outside, da -da, an elephant. Oh man, this just is so lovely. And they've got a nice outdoors area. Is it heated? Yes, it is. Uh -oh. The inside of the pub, yeah. basic, and then you've got the outdoor dining area. Well, they've got steak and ale pie, famous for fish and chips over here, so I might have to go for the fish and chip, I think, but I'll have a proper look at the menu. I ordered a large quad of chips. That's it. I'm not going to be able to eat all of this, I should have just got the medium, but I'm going to give it a good old bash. Start with the chips. Love them. Love them. Good. Right, let's try it. Oh. Mm. So meaty the fish. This is great. This has probably got to be the largest piece of fish and chips I've ever had. <laughs> Chatting to some locals who said, um, don't bother going back to Chatham, Maidstone, come park up in our friend lawn because they only live down the road from here. They're really, really friendly. Um, I'm still sat out here using the Wi Fi, it's a bit slow. Um, it's only what, about seven o'clock because it's a bit early to go back into the van yet so I might nip in there and have get a coffee. In Flair, half 